Hello, beautiful ladies of my heart. It is I again, Lala, on the wild and crazy train. <laughs> Makeup, foundation, blush, the whole train. So today, I am going to start with a foundation that I thought would be amazing to try. Now, I know it's higher end. That This is the Estee Lauder. i to put my glasses on. Estee Lauder Futurist Skin Tint Serum with Botanical Oil Infusion, Broad Spectrum SPF 20, and it's in the color 3C2 Pebble. I go into Sephora and Ulta looking for new things to showcase based on what you've suggested. And one of them I happened to, when I was in Sephora, this gentleman said to me, what kind of foundation are you looking for? And I said, well, I'm mature skin and I, you know, I want middle of the road. I don't want high, high end. And I thought Estee Lauder was high, high end. It's $44 for this. Put on some new sunscreen. You might have saw that short. I've replaced Super Goop with ELF's Invisible Sunscreen, SPF 35. It's beautiful. It's everything that Super Goop does and for a fraction of the cost. So it's 38 for 1.7 in Super Goop and it is $14 for 1.7 ounce in the ELF. So that's a keeper. So I'm going to try this. I really, um, I'm, I always am looking for something that's a tint, not full coverage. So, and of course I do my application. Okay, I'm gonna put some drops on me. I wanna try, oh, if this is as beautiful as it says, and then I will look for a dupe. It's, it's beautiful. You can build it up if you want more coverage. I'll probably add just a little bit more because it is very light. Mm. Okay, so and I'm putting it on my eyes too because it is a tint. It's beautiful, ladies. It's so, it's so hydrating. I've tried many tints in all ranges, so I'll pull out in my arsenal to see what would be a dupe for this, if there is. Doesn't set in fine lines and wrinkles. Just smooths and just smooths out my skin tone. Give it more of an even. I can do more. I like to do more uh, concealer because of my where my glasses sit. Those darn glasses. Don't forget your earlobes, especially with short hair. Okay. Now I've got another product I want to show you. This is by Fiara. I saw this, of course, on TikTok, so I thought I would bring it to you. This is Luxury Concealer and in the color Bisque. If you've ever heard of it, it's supposed to be absolutely amazing for mature skin. So I'm going to take a little bit on my finger. It's pretty thick. It's not drippy. And I'm going to put it on the places I normally put my concealer. Take my chickadow dow. They came with this brush. This is my chickadow dow brush. And I'm gonna try it. It's a inter it's, it it's different. It's uh I guess you know a lot of ladies use this as their foundation. It reminds me of Lancome's. Remember Lancome has that one fondy tint. It's beautiful. And people just use that, and I've used it just in for a light coverage. Okay, and what the real test is gonna be is of course under my eyes, but I'm gonna put on my Aquaphor. I'm gonna be doing my Nera Pro review too. That's coming up 90 days. Don't miss it. Okay. I like to do that. This, this Sierra, And you know, I, my poor nose, I mean, the glasses, no matter what glasses I get, they leave a mark. I am gonna go ahead and we're gonna see how this goes under my eyes before I put on my eye makeup. 
Okay. Has anybody tried this, Fiera? It's pretty thick, you know, but it's creamy. Of course, I like to pat. It would be good on the eyes, too, for covering up. Darkness, okay. All right, and we're gonna come back later. I'm gonna tell you how all of this wore. <laughs> all right, so along with the SD Lauder, this, I thought they had a sale on their blushes and this had great reviews. So this color by SD Lauder, Pure Color Envy in 120 Sensuous Rose. That's like, yeah, it's, it's very, very subdued, which when I'm going for a natural look, so if you want something bold and outrageous, <laughs> you won't get it with this. So I'm gonna take my Angie's A507. Whoop, I'm gonna break stuff right and left. So this is, yeah, A507. I'm gonna pad it in here. And then I'm going to go, oh gosh, ooh, yeah, I like things silk. I like the cream or the powder. Oh my goodness, ladies. The foundation alone is a luminous, you know, it's just, but not really bright, but, and it's so, oh my, look how pretty. I'm going to go off camera and put on the rest of my makeup. And then we're going to do a wear test on these two beautiful foundations. This was $30 on sale. It's regularly $44. They have refills for this blush. And you can refill it with a different color or the same. They're probably $25. So save a little bit there rather than buying the whole thing again. I said this retails for $44. But ladies, oh my goodness, it's beautiful. All right, I'll be back and show you the finished work. Moi. Okay, beautiful ladies of my heart. Here I am. It's 6.15 p.m. The Estee Lauder Amazing Fondy Tint. Brand new out is a keeper. It is just, I'm not kidding you. It is so, it is so skin-like, so perfect. It, it blurs. The color is perfect. They have a lot of colors to choose from. I'm going to be doing a, a more in-depth uh, foundation a little bit later, picking my top foundations that I feel are perfect for our mature skin, okay? This is a keeper. I'm in love. They're really pretty pair of... <laughs> They're really pretty sensuous rose blush is to die for. It's very, very light, but it stayed. It didn't move around. Everything looks fabulous to me, including this... Fiara Luxury Concealer in Bisque. Mm, it held up beautifully. I'm loving it. I think it'll be a keeper. Now I will pit it against my favorite, which is the L'Oreal. And I will go, I will do a head on head with those. But right now I'm liking it. Okay. I will list everything I'm wearing here. Some of this is from another video. I love you so much. We'll see you soon. Keep watching. Keep bringing me suggestions. It's only going to get better. Lala is out.